So this is how you edit a 3D object that you have already created. So to show you this, let's quickly create a 3D object by drawing a square, change the fill color, and extrude it by going to Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Here we can click the preview button and create a 3D box. And just for fun, we can add a logo as well. So here we have our 3D box and as you can see, I have unselected the box. So what if I decide that the box is suddenly too small or we want to change something with the 3D design. For instance, if I scale it like this, we can see that our logo doesn't scale and also the size of the box is still the size that I specified in the 3D panel. So how do we go back and edit this 3D object? And the reason why I make this video is because I think it's more complicated than it really should be. Because we can't just double click the object, we will just go into isolation mode. Also, we can't just right click, there's no edit option right here. So how do we actually edit our 3D object? The option is hidden, but fortunately really simple. We want to go to window and have the appearance panel open. And inside the appearance panel, we have this step right here that says 3D extrude and bevel and mapped because we have our logo mapped on the object. And if we click on this link, we can go back and edit our 3D object. Simply click preview and here we have our original shape and now we can edit the object just as we want. We can even go back to the map art and make the logo wider. Thank you for watching.